haven't seen. Because now is the acceptable time. When invitations are extended to people, there is a date and a time for the occasion. And if you mess around and miss out on arriving, at the place on time, miss it by a day, whatever was to be has already taken place. So you today, yes, even you, you and you and you and you, have a grand invitation. You have an invitation extended to you not by me, not by any other preacher, nor by angels. But this invitation originated from God Almighty and from his son. And he says to you and to me and to everyone, he says, come. I am glad that this invitation was not extended predicated on our background. We were not invited because we was of the elite or the high society of life. We were not invited because we had plenty of money. Nor were we invited because we lived in the mansion on the hill. But we were invited because we were the scum of the earth. We were the lowest of the low. We were the saddest of the sad. We were those who did not live on the boulevards of life. We were not those that lived on Main Street. But we were those, if you please, that was on the back end of everything. Back in the woods, if you please. In an area where society would not tolerate. We were people that we're not invited to the better things of, of life. Not invited to the banquets of great men and great women. But God, in his infinite mercy, looked down and saw a people that had no God on their side. He looked down and he saw a people who was ostracized, who was criticized, who was rejected by the mainstream of life. He looked down and he saw a people that needed someone or something that they could look up to. And so he says to you and I, come now. You 
you will no longer be in cast a shadow. You're no longer being denied the privileges of worshiping in the divine God. You are no longer considered the wicked of the weak. But I want to include you in my family. And he says, In other words, he is saying to you and to I, it's all right to approach. It's all right to get close to us. It is all right for you to draw nigh to me. For if you would draw nigh to me, I will in turn draw nigh. He says, come. He says, that's all right. Uh, move a little bit closer to me. I want to converse with you. I want to have a dialogue with you. And I want you to move closer. Get real close. Come toward me. Because what I have to say is simply between you and I. What I have to tell you is a personal matter. It is something that you need. No one else is involved right now. I just want to talk to you. So just move a bit closer to me. And I want to tell you something. How many of you know that it's a good thing to get close to God? It's good to be nigh to him. It is good to be in a situation where there isn't a lot of space between you and God. Because you realize the space have to be filled. And if it's not filled by you and God, then it's filled by you and something else. But the Bible said, come now, Lord. Why is it that you want me to come now? I want you to come now that we might be able to reason together. I want you to come now while you have the opportunity to offer up your defense. I want you to come now while you have a chance to tell me what's on your mind. Come Near and let me hear your conversation. Let me hear what you have to say. Come now. And when you say what you have to say, when you offer up me, no, no. Gotta tell you one more time now.